So, um, this is Catherine. I just thought I'd make a quick little clip in case anyone was worried about me because I didn't make a clip for a few days. I was making a lot of clips for a little while there and then I just like took a few days off from it. But anyway, this is Catherine and I'm here and, uh... I just wanted to give an example of how even when something good happens, I feel like my enemies try to turn it into something bad. Like, I got a call earlier this afternoon from basically my only friend. Basically, my only friend called me earlier this afternoon and he was like, I was thinking about coming out there later, and I thought, you know, I'd take you out to dinner, a belated birthday, and I was like, oh, that's nice. I was like, I'm not doing anything. You know, I'm usually here, no plans. So, um, yeah, so he, uh, he was like, okay, I'll be there about five. I was like, all right. So then I get this text message from him at about 4.30 saying that he's running late, he's packing up his car. So I called him because I wasn't even sure where he was, where he was, if he was coming from like far away or not that far away. And he was said he was coming from like about, uh, like a 40 minute drive away. So he told me he was going to leave in like 20 minutes. He's, so that would have been like 4.50. I was like, okay. I was like, I was going to close my eyes for a minute anyway. So then I opened my eyes and like as soon as I open my eyes, I get this text alert on my phone as if he saw me wake up and he said in the text that he's like on his way now. And he should be there just after six. So basically, when he sent me that last text, it was like 45 minutes later than he said that he was going to leave. Like he had said, oh, I'm going to leave in like 20 minutes. But basically, he didn't leave in 20 minutes. He waited another 45 minutes to leave. And my point is, is it the end of the world for him to come here a little after six instead of five? No. My point is that I feel like my enemies are controlling the whole scenario, like telling him when to leave and telling him when to text me and just trying to like make it so that I'm annoyed by the time he gets here. And... I'm not so much annoyed at him. I'm annoyed at whoever fucking controls him. I know somebody controls him. I know at least one of my enemies controls him. And I kind of feel like punishing everybody, my enemies, him, whoever, by changing the plans when he gets here. He, like, basically told me that he wants to go to a particular restaurant. Even though it's my birthday, he was like, let's go to such and such restaurant. But if I really want to be a bitch when he gets here, I could be like, you know what? If this is for my birthday, I want to go to this other place because what's happened is now my enemies have had a lot of time to fucking play games at the place that we're supposed to go to. Like, and also I saw something online that sounded like they might be having some karaoke or some shit. And if it's going to be really loud and I can't hear that's not good. And if people are going to get up there and try to sing like mocking or insulting songs, that's not going to be good. So hopefully my mood improves by the time he gets here just after six, because if it's not, I'm just going to be like, 
I don't want to go to that place after all. Change of plans. You know how you made a change of plans a couple of different times and now you're here after six instead of five? Well, now I want to change the plans and see if it annoys you. See if it annoys the enemies. Now I want to change the plans and go to a different place. Nah, nah. Like, this is how my life is. Like, I only have one friend left because my enemies fuck up all my other attempts at friendship. Even with the one friend, they're always goddamn interfering. And I'm just supposed to be there when he arrives with a smile on my face going, Oh, isn't this wonderful? I'm so grateful because you're my only friend. And if you want to keep changing the plans and showing up more than an hour late, that's great because you're my only friend. So I don't want to fight with you. That's how my life is. But anyway, I think I'll be happy to see him and that'll take care of my mood, you know. I'm, I, you know, I'm always happy to see him and, you know, I'm sure my mood will pass. But anyway, um, I just, sometimes I just want to do a little video clip like giving an example of how something small gets turned into something stupid by my fucking enemies. But anyway, I'm trying to just be grateful that I haven't gotten any messages from my mother about her CT scan. My mother got a CT scan the day before yesterday, and so far so good. Two days from the CT scan, no... You know, she says she hasn't gotten any calls, you know, with bad news about the CT scan. So I'm very relieved about that. I'm grateful about that. Um, unless my enemies are just waiting to, like, knock me over the head with bad news about that at a later date. But um, for now, I'm grateful about that. And... I have been sleeping better the last few nights. Um, I've been taking a half a trazodone with some melatonin instead of a full trazodone pill because I'm trying to see, I don't know, I've got some advice from my neurologist about melatonin and I'm trying to see if I can affect my sleeping and dreaming for the better with, um, with uh, the melatonin and the half trazodone. And it was not good the first few nights, but then the last few nights have been better. So I'm encouraged by that. Um, I got some more chores done the last couple days than usual, but I, I do have some back pain now from kind of pushing myself with the chores. But um, anyway, that's the update. I'm still here. I'm still getting tormented sometimes by nameless, faceless enemies. And, um, yeah, that's that. So I'm going to stop now. Thanks for listening.